At the top of the user interface of Mar then we have what's known as the main menus. And these are going to exist along the top. And as you can see, there's a number of different menus to choose from. Now the way in which all these menus are based is all around their relevance to each other. So you'll find that tools and commands that are all similar will be held in specific menus. As an example, any tools and commands to do with my mesh are held in this. Any tools and commands to edit my mesh are held in this menu. So it becomes fairly obvious after a while where you're able to find things. To begin with, it can be a little bit confusing, however, because we do end up having a number of different menus to choose from. Now, if I just go through some of them to begin with, we've got the file menu, and that deals with a lot of the operations regarding opening scenes, saving scenes, okay, preferences to do with Maya, and kind of further export options, anything to do with the project as well. Now, all of this is explained in further detail in other videos, so you don't need to worry too much about what these all mean at the moment. We've got the edit menu, okay, which not only covers editing in terms of undoing, redoing actions, but it's also got some options here for selection, duplication, and such principles as grouping and parenting. So the edit and file are pretty similar to some of the menus that you'll find in other pieces of software anyway. We have a modify menu, which is exactly as it says. It helps us modify certain aspects about our scene. We can create via the create menu. So this is geometry and tools for curves and text. We've got a display menu. So how everything is displayed within our scene. And then we have a window, which of course deals with how we visualize the scene and also individual windows that are relevant to perhaps animation or rendering. Further to that, we've got an assets menu, a select menu. So this is all to do with select. And then what I'm gonna do is just jump across a few of these and just go down to the help menu. And this, of course, as you might have guessed, is all about obtaining help, learning movies, tutorials, you know, if you need to contact the support center, anything like that is found in this. Now, the reason why I jumped some of these menus within the middle are because those are specific to what's known as a menu set. The ones that we can visualize here at the moment are all based around polygons, polygonal modeling, and also texturing. We can alter these menus by using what's known as the menu set option. And the shortcut to that is to hold down H, left click, and you can see there that we can choose between polygons, animation, dynamics, end dynamics, rendering, and surfaces. If I just left click, drag, and gesture to the animation, and then just let go, you can see there that although we still maintain the file, the edit, the modify, the create, display, window, assets, and the help, we've also now got different menus with different tools and different commands. Further to the menus, if we think that we're going to be using perhaps a tool quite a lot, what we're able to do, if I just go to create the formers, at the top of every menu, you'll see that we have this dotted line here. And if we hover over it, it highlights as blue. Just by left clicking on that, we're able to tear that menu off and then place it wherever we want, either within the user interface or anywhere upon Windows. So now we can just quickly jump to perhaps some of the tools that we need rather than always going up to the menu. And this isn't just specific to the main menus. You'll notice if I go to non-linear, it gives me further options. And again, there's another menu that I can tear off. So I can now dispose of that and I can access the lowest point of the menu. Most of the time, if I just get rid of that, most of the time you're always keep these options up here even when you're working full screen such as this but if you do want to get rid of it what you're able to do is use Control and M for mother and that will hide the main menus and if you hit Control and M again it will bring them back. 